And this while the war with Ukraine rages on, a top Ukrainian official is providing new details about a potential spring counteroffensive. Ukraine's National Security Secretary told the Associated Press yesterday that Kyiv will launch its counteroffensive only when it's ready, saying Ukraine is still preparing, but that it is just a matter of time. Joining us now, the former president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko. Uh, if you could tell us more about uh, where the war stands right now and Ukraine's preps for a counteroffensive, but also these videos of Vladimir Putin on the front lines. What do you make of them, sir? Every single week, I try to be on the front line. Uh, just a couple days ago, I returned back from the south where Ukrainian brigade, both Marine, uh, Assault Brigade, Artillery Brigade, preparing, training uh, for preparation of the counteroffensive. Oh, this is not a counter. This is an offensive mm -hmm. operation. We do not command when it happened. We do not command where it's happened. But I have no doubt But the, for the counteroffensive operation, we need a three factor. Factor number one is a motivation. And I can confirm you that Ukrainian armed forces is fully motivated. We fight for our soil, we fight for our people, and we are heroic for uh, stopping and beating Russia. Point number two, this is the weapons. And uh, we obtain the weapons, but the top priority is artillery, is uh, radio electronic warfare system. This is extremely important. And uh, uh, the air for anti uh, air attack, because unfortunately, the Russia renew their, their dominance in Ukrainian sky. And the air defense is a vital. Impact number three this is the ammunition. And we definitely have a lack of ammunition. With that situation, when we will have a weapons and ammunition, we immediately launch an offensive operation. I want to thank our partners for delivering significant amount of weapons and ammunition, but we still have it not enough. For example, we need not a dozen stunk, but a hundred stunk for game changer. Because mm -hmm. can you imagine that we destroy 3,600 tanks from the beginning? For the visit of the Putin, this is uh, just another evidence that he is a killer as Biden called him before the war uh, started, full-fledged war. And the killer is all the time wanting, visiting the place of his crimes. I was and uh, our battalions was among the troops who uh, threw Russia away from the right bank of mm -hmm. the Dnieper and Kherson region. And uh, his place not in Kherson, his place in a Hague with a, behind the bar. And another thing, I see your uh, video when they demonstrate that he fly by helicopter. No, he uh, fly by helicopter on the occupied Crimea, but he is afraid to go uh, on uh, Kherson region by helicopter. He is very much afraid of Ukrainian uh, attack, and definitely that was just a PR action. Uh, connected that he has nothing to sell to the Russian people. M Mr. Poroshenko, I know that you've expressed some frustration that allies are not delivering enough, and you mentioned it there on the tanks, but up until now, Europe has been very united in its support of Ukraine. But just this week, we've seen some, f some friction there. Slovakia yesterday joined Hungary and Poland in banning imports of grain from Ukraine because they say that it's depressing their own agricultural prices and the farmers are not happy in those countries. Are you worried that that could just be the beginning of a lack of support for Ukraine from, the, from Western nations? Are they starting to feel that it's too costly to their own populations to carry on supporting Ukraine in this way? Or is this just about this one issue around the grain? Yes. I'm very much grateful for our partners. Second, I'm very much count on the unity of the Western world in supporting Ukraine, because this is the position, not only the government, parliament, this is the position of the people. Third, the, unfortunately, I can call it as a politically motivated action. This is just an episode connected with the future election, connected with the, uh, some uh, political tricks, 
But this is the competence of the European Commission. And European Commission sent absolutely clear message that the, uh, this initiative is not welcome. And we definitely find out the decision within short period of time. And I am in touch with the, uh, our uh, consultation for the uh, removing this obstacle. And I have, I'm count that within a week, we will have a clear position of united voice of the whole European Union. I have no doubt that this question would be removed because this is the, can you imagine that this is the 50% of Ukrainian export? And attack on that will bring to Ukraine jobless, will bring to Ukraine currency crisis, will bring to Ukraine budget crisis, and definitely neither we nor our partners will uh, allow this action.